Hello everyone, this is Jonathan with Resale World Technical Support, and this is a video on how to create a consignment inventory drop-off. So the first thing we're going to do is open up our Liberty 5 software, then we're going to navigate to File, Inventory Drop-offs. So once we're here, we can see all the past inventory drop-offs that we have. We're going to go ahead and create our first inventory drop-off here. So over to the left, we'll click on Add Drop-Off. We're going to search for the account that we want to use. Now you can use the account number, the first name, the last name, anything will work. So I'm going to go ahead and type in one. We'll do a search, and then I'll try the John Doe account here. So I'm double-clicking on that. So for this, all new drop-offs always have a status of open. The item count is the number of items that we're taking in from the consigner that's bringing in the items. So if they're bringing in a bag of 10 items, they can go ahead and drop those off at the counter. Uh, you would just count them out. And in this case, let's say we have 10 items. The note area allows you to specify anything that's additional about the items. Maybe they have a bag that is made out of fabric that they want back, uh, or they, they brought the items in a bag and they need to return it. So as an example, I'll put in uh, brought... So maybe they want that bag back. So now that I'm done here, I'm gonna go ahead and click OK. And then it's gonna ask you, would you like to print out a drop-off receipt? So you can give this to them so they can return later on once you process the items uh, if you'd like. So we'll hit yes on this. It's gonna say, well, what do we wanna print this out to? So for now, what I'm gonna do so I can show off what the drop-off receipt looks like, I'm gonna go ahead and do this to a PDF document here. And this is what the drop-off receipt looks like. So we have a lot of good information. Uh, we can use the barcode to scan in the inventory drop-off area to quickly pull up this receipt so that we can look at what happened with that drop-off. Uh, you have the account information located here, and then the consigner can bring this receipt back when, when you process their items. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the inventory module, and this is the drop-off that we, we just added here. So as you can see, we have our note that we entered in earlier about the fabric bag. We have the number of items that we actually received and then added will be after we add the items. So what we're going to do next is we're going to add the items to this drop off. Uh, so that way these are items that we've accepted and are going to be consigned for the customer. So I'm going to go ahead and click the add items button here. So you would go ahead and add each of those items that you've accepted. Um, and keep in mind, even though we've brought in 10, maybe we might only accept eight because they're, the eight are in the season and the other two are not. So I'm going to go ahead and add a few items, maybe two or three of them here, and then I'll speed up the rest of the video when we're done adding those items. So I'll go to our category. We'll put a t-shirt in here. All right, so that's our first item added. Go ahead and add the next one. And then for the rest of these items, we'll go ahead and speed this up. All right, we're back. Now that the video has been sped up, we entered only nine out of the 10 items. The 10th item we didn't accept for whatever reason, and that's going back to the consigner. So now I'm gonna click save, and we're gonna close out of the current item entry tab. So now it's going to ask, would you like to mark this drop off as processed? So we're going to click yes on this. And you'll note that the inventory drop off is no longer on our main screen under inventory drop offs. So if I wanted to see my closed drop offs, I can drop down the status and I can look at closed specifically. So as we can see, this is the one that we did take in. We received 10 items from the consigner, 
but we only added nine of those 10 items. So now if we go to this consigner's account, I'm gonna to go to the account list, we'll open up John Doe. You'll see the 51 through 59 have been added. And these are gonna be automatically set with the price code. So when they sell, they'll sell with the split that's associated with the account. So if it's 50-50, then the consigner is gonna get 50% of whatever the price is. This was a video on how to add a consignment drop-off.